This story begins in the forest where there were many animals. Deers were dancing. Boom, ba chick, 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 boom, ba chick, 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 boom, ba chick, 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 boom, ba chick, chick, chick. Snakes were slithering. S birds were flying. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. And down in the cool blue river, the fish were swimming. Now by the river was a very tall tree. And in this tree, there lived Monkey. Oh, Monkey was so cute. He had big sparkly eyes, a smile like sunshine, and fur as soft as a cloud. But Monkey was sad. He would sit on the branches of his tree. He would look down at all of the other animals and he would say, It's not fair, you know. All the other animals have friends, you know. I don't have any friends. Only me up in this tree. I feel lots of lonely. But luckily for Monkey, his tree was full of apples. So while he didn't have many friends, he never went hungry. He had the ripest and freshest and juiciest rose apples anywhere in the forest. And Monkey would eat them for breakfast, he would eat them for lunch, he would eat them for dinner, he would eat them for snacks in the morning, snacks in the evening. He ate them all day long. He would sit on the branches, he would pick one, he would take a bite and he would enjoy as it danced its way down into his little monkey tummy. <laughs> now one day as Monkey was eating one of these apples, he heard a sound. It was coming from down, down, down in the river beneath his tree. When Monkey looked down and listened carefully, he heard the sound swish, swish, snap, snap, swish, swish, snap. Swish, swish, snap, snap, swish, swish, snap. He scratched his head. He'd never heard a sound like that before. But then the sound was followed by this. <laughs> Monkey was confused. When he looked down from the tree, he saw lying beneath his rose apple tree was a great big green crocodile with tears streaming down his face. Monkey saw that the crocodile was rubbing his tummy. Monkey realized the crocodile was hungry. Monkey plucked one of the apples from his tree and he threw it down. Whee! The apple landed right on crocodile's tongue. Crocodile crunched the apple ben in between his sharp, shiny, white teeth. He felt the juice dance all over his tongue. Crocodile had never tasted anything so good in his life. As he swallowed the apple, Crocodile said, mm, 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 mm. He then looked up into the tree and said, which kind creature has given me such a delicious fruit? And there, sitting on the branch, was a monkey. Crocodile said, monkey, because you have been so kind to gift me with this fruit, all I can gift you with is my friendship. Monkey said, oh. A real friend? I never had a friend before, you know. If we are real friends, can we be friends on the Facebook as well? Crocodile said, yes, monkey, and even Instagram. Monkey said, oh, I'm glad I got a friend. Crocodile said, monkey, I will come back tomorrow. Bye, friend. And he swam away. Swish, 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 swish. Monkey was so happy, he'd finally found a friend and Crocodile kept his promise. 
Because when Monkey opened his laptop, there were three words waiting for him. One friend request. And when he looked at the photograph, it was of someone with a long green nose and sharp, shiny teeth. As Monkey clicked accept, his friendship group went from zero to one. Now Crocodile came back every single day to see Monkey and they spoke about everything, sports and politics, literature, popular culture, everything they would talk about. And they always ate the same thing, the fresh red rose apples. But one day when Crocodile came, he seemed very sad. Monkey said, Crocodile, what's wrong? And Crocodile said two words to Monkey. My wife. Monkey said, oh, marriage problems. I read about those. What happened, Crocodile? And Crocodile said, Monkey, my wife is angry because every day I'm supposed to swim in the river and bring her food back, but I just come here and hang out with you. She's annoyed because she's hungry. Monkey said, if she's hungry, she can have one of my apples because if she's your wife, then she's my friend too. Crocodile said, Monkey, you really do have the sweetest and kindest heart. And Monkey climbed down the tree and placed one of the apples on Crocodile's head. When Crocodile took it home to his wife, she was not happy. She was sitting on the banks of the river in an old dressing gown. She had a rolled up newspaper in her hand and all of her scales were held up in rollers and curlers on her bright green head. And when she saw Crocodile coming, she opened up her mouth and started to scream words that I shall not repeat. But Crocodile wasn't worried. He lifted up the apple and he tossed it in the air. It flew through and landed on her tongue. When she sinked her teeth into the apple and the juice began to dance on her tongue and down her throat into her stomach, Mrs. Crocodile said, mmm, 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 mmm. And Mrs. Crocodile began to change. The curlers and the rollers fell from her head and her green scales cascaded down her shoulders. And she started to move towards Mr. Crocodile. She was smiling. Mr. Crocodile was quite scared. <laughs> but it was the first time in a long time that she was happy. Oh, when Crocodile told Monkey about this, Monkey was over the moon that he'd made his friend so happy. And that day, he gave him two apples to take home to Mrs. Crocodile. Crocodile told Monkey, Monkey, you have the sweetest and kindest heart of any creature I know. And Monkey smiled. Now, after some time of eating the apples, Mrs. Crocodile got quite fed up. There were only so many apples that she could eat. And she started to hanker for a different type of food. Crocodile tried to explain to her that the apples were from Monkey's tree and that Monkey had given them and that Monkey was his friend. And Monkey, 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 was all the only word that she heard. Mrs. Crocodile looked at her husband and said, My love, let's not worry about apples. You see, if your friend Monkey eats these sweet, delicious apples every day, then I think his heart will be much sweeter than any of the apples you have brought me. So tonight, you must bring me Monkey's heart. Crocodile didn't know what to do. He was stuck. He was trapped. On one side, he had his wife, who he loved very dearly. But on the other side, he had his friend Monkey. The crocodile wasn't strong enough to say no, so he agreed. He swam down the river to Monkey's tree. He called Monkey down and he invited him 
for dinner. Oh, Monkey was so happy. He brushed his hair. He put on his finest clothes, a white leopard print shirt and a red bow tie. He sprayed his favourite cologne and he came down and jumped onto the back of Crocodile as they swam up the river. Soon they arrived at the deepest, darkest part of the river. Monkey couldn't see the bottom of the water and he was scared because he didn't know how to swim, but he was okay. He was with his friend, right? It was at this point that Crocodile turned his long green jaws. He looked at Monkey and he said, Monkey, when I asked you to come to my house for dinner, I meant to say you would be dinner. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Monkey was hurt, but Monkey was clever. Monkey said, oh, Crocodile, you should have said, you see, if you want to eat my sweet, delicious heart, as I'm sure you do, you must know that us monkeys don't carry our hearts around with us. They're so sweet and special, we have to leave them at the top of the tree. So if you take me back to the tree, I will go and get it for you. Crocodile, not being as smart as monkey, rushed back to monkey's tree. Monkey jumped off, climbed to the very top and did not come back down. Crocodile called and called for monkey and monkey only gave him one simple reply. Crocodile, I made mistake of giving you my sweet and kind heart. You don't deserve it anymore. You must go. And as Crocodile swam back up the river, Monkey sat, feeling sad. But then he looked around at all of the other animals that were running and playing in the jungle and he said, you know, I made a mistake giving it to Crocodile, but I know in the future I can give it to another animal too. And then he plucked one of the rose apples, took a bite, and waited for another animal to come who was more deserving of his sweet and kind heart.